And Derby, tonight we are seeing more problems from the flash flooding that moved through our area this week. One woman in Pueblo County says her property along Fountain Creek has irreversible damage. Yeah, that nearly 75 mile long creek starts in Teller County, ends in Pueblo County. New size Maggie Bryan saw the damage up close today. Maggie, that homeowner says the creek just swallowing up her property, huh? Yeah, Robin Day, and the woman says her property on both sides of the creek has changed drastically over the years. Her main concern, this barn here where the land underneath has been eaten away by the flowing creek. I've been fighting the Fountain Creek River for quite a few years. Kathy Todd says the barn on her property in Pueblo County was built in the 90s. She says it used to be five acres away from the edge of Fountain Creek. This creek used to actually be on the other side of those tall trees out there. Erosion of the creek over the years has left the structure now hanging over the edge. Each time it floods, it comes closer and closer and takes out a lot of my property. I've talked to a few people to see if anybody can help me and I can't get anybody to pay attention or to, to offer any kind of assistance. We spoke with the Fountain Creek Watershed District about the issue. They're in charge of flood control for the creek. So this is one of the properties <gasps> that we went out to yesterday. The executive director says there is nothing they can do right now to help property owners like Kathy. I have been hearing from several landowners about these kinds of issues and their worry about um, the creek encroaching on their property. And it's just very unfortunate that we don't have a sustainable funding plan in place right now. The challenge, they say, is funding the creek's erosive nature and its movement over the years seen in this photo. The Fountain Creek Watershed District says it's one of the most studied watersheds in the whole country. It starts in Woodland Park and goes all the way down to Pueblo where it feeds into the Arkansas River. The Watershed District says there is work being done along several points of the creek, like Southmore Drive in Fountain and near East Woodman in North Colorado Springs, where erosion has eaten away at the land. Help for property owners is still up in the air. If we were to get sustainable funding, we'd really look at projects across the watershed uh, to benefit all the communities. In terms of uh, landowners or business owners, um, you know, there isn't a really great solution. She says the district is drafting up plans for ways to fund these projects. Could it be a mill levy? Could it be a sales tax? We're looking for grants, um, but that's very limiting. So we need some sort of a long term sustainable funding as have many communities already have in place. In the meantime, Kathy and her family say they're stuck wondering how much more land they're going to lose. What about us little people? This has been taking my my bank out for years now and I can't get any help. The watershed district says the plan for gathering more funding to curb erosion should be ready in a few months. That plan will be presented to communities for feedback. We will let you know when that happens. Rob.